Hey guys, I know you were just watching me a few minutes ago on the live show, but we are now on the recorded show. So get ready because it's kind of a, it's not even Friday, but we're going to fill it up anyway. We got yeah. a lot of meat here. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it'll be really fun. Special guest, my friend Reggie, and uh, you are a current veteran. Yes. Okay. And but I always like to start off by thanking you for your service. Oh, thank you. No matter what you did, I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. It was an um, honor to serve. Where did you serve and what was your kind of duty? Yeah, so I served in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, I joined after September 11, 2001. Uh, I was a light armored reconnaissance crewman. That was my, my military occupational specialty. And I got to serve abroad in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Haiti, and some other countries in the Middle East. Awesome. Once again, thank you. Absolutely. Um, okay, so today we're doing... Uh, we're reviewing uh, Z Grills. They sent us the latest model smoker, and I believe it's in their 7000 series. Um, uh, I'll try to put it on the screen when I do my editing so you can see what model number it is. But in the meantime, it's their latest model. And I want to talk about Z Grills really quick. So they, they mean something to me because right after I had my stroke, they had sent me a smoker. Oh, wow. And they were the first video I did after my stroke. So, wow. so it, it wasn't my best work, but it was, it was amazing. And it was a great little smoker, but I've watched them over the years. I've watched other YouTubers do Z grills. I've watched the company grow, grow and grow and grow. And I want to compliment them because this one gave us a little difficulty with like putting on the legs. Uh, we were putting it together and we reached out to Z grills. And I not only, it's amazing, I got notified via Instagram, I got notified via email, I got a phone call. Z Grills has the most amazing customer support. Not because it's just me, because they don't know who I am. They just know I've got a show that they can show their, their smoker on. But they didn't care. They cared about fixing the problem. That's awesome. And three different ways. I've never had, I mean, with this whole virus thing, nobody has customer service. <laughs> so to get notified three different ways z grills you have gone a long way you have accomplished so much i'm so proud of you guys and their newest model is kind of exciting they've added one feature that i love the most and we'll go outside in a minute to show you that but we're going to bring them in close and we're going to show them what we're going to do here sounds good and uh we'll talk about what meats we're using and and uh you know, we're gonna, you're gonna season your meat, and it's, it's not a competition, guys. <laughs> we're friends. Yep. So the thing is, it's, it's about eating. That's yep. what it's about. Yep. Family, food, and fun. That's all. All right, come on in close. <laughs> Alright guys, so let me let me go first and then I'll turn it over to you. So I have my I guess you we call them secret rubs, but you guys I, I think I've told you this rub uh that I liked. It's the one with the smoked paprika. Oh man, it's just it's just amazing. Um so I'm gonna be using that. I gotta make sure that's that's been packed away way before the kids left. So that's a little bit aged, but it should be good. And then you brought over what? What'd you bring? All right. So I brought over a mixture here of, a, I'll, we'll call it my secret rub. So we got store-bought and we yeah. got homemade. Yeah. And these are both things, your go-tos. Yeah. Those are both go-tos. Absolutely. Right. And uh, that's it. And we're going to take care of, we're doing a uh, tri-tip here. We were doing sirloin tip because I couldn't find tri-tip. And what do you know? Last night, I found tri-tip. <laughs> so we're bringing it in. You can never not have enough meat. Yep. I, I don't think anybody's ever said, well, that's way too much meat. I've never heard that phrase. No. Nope. That's like German to me. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to take care of it right now. We're going to, uh, these have been out for a little bit. That should be good. Most of the time when you smoke meat or cook meat, I don't care how you cook it, bring it to room temperature. Yeah. It's just, and I can't, the only way I can explain it is your fist. When meat is cold, it's tight. Okay. When it, and you don't want tough, tight meat. So when meat is warm, it relaxes. So you want tender meat, like when it relaxes. So bring it to room temperature. Don't worry about health issues because as soon as it's room temperature, start cooking right away, okay? And that should do it. So we will season these up right now. We'll show them to you seasoned before we bring them out onto the grill. 
Reggie's still working on his masterpiece right now behind me in where do you see what he's done, okay? But first I wanna go over this and I wanna to talk to you guys first how, how I met Reggie. I know you're just looking at my hand, it kinda of looks stupid, but um, I, I didn't, Reggie and I have known each other for quite a while, but the thing that pushed it all over the edge is his Instagram account. And can I give the name? Yeah, it's uh, Smoking Saint. Smoking. Smoking. With a G. Smoking with a G. I N G. Yep. All right, Smoking Saints. If you go there, you'll know why he's over here. When you see his pictures, follow him on Instagram, Smoking Saints. His pictures were so beautiful, I had to get him over onto a video. Okay. So he's doing literally. When you see, when he shows you, he's gonna blow me away. His stuff is amazing. It literally, the meat was speaking to him. You should have seen it. It was like, hello, hello, meat. Meat's like, do this, do that, do this. And it, we, he did it. So as you can see, my sirloin tip has my rub all over it, okay? And then I got my tri-tip back here. And this, this one has kind of what I like to say my mom's ingredients. My mom always taught me, if you go with salt, pepper, garlic, and onion, you go with those four, those are the four basics. You could throw Italian herbs in if you want, but those are the four basics on any meat, it will work. So I did, this is salt, pepper, garlic, onion. I did both sides. I'm going very simple because this is very complex flavors. This is, I wanted the tri to be simple flavors. Now in a minute, he literally, you should see, he's got his paint brushes out. He's painting a masterpiece. We're gonna show you his stuff in just one moment. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so excited. It's not even a competition. We just decided to try different flavors. That's all. So we're not competing, but we're giving you a bunch of different options. Okay. Um, this beast here. Yeah. What happened? So Jack, I'm not going to lie to you. I had a plan, right? right? And when you said we were doing uh, tip sirloin, yeah. the roast. And as I, whenever I started looking at it, you know, it was like, man, this would really look good. Uh, well, actually, you were like, man, that could be butterflied. And the after that, it just kind of took off. The creativity <laughs> took off. So what we did was we went ahead and butterflied it, and we stuffed it with cream cheese. And we put some whole garlic cloves in there, and we used some of Jack's signature, signature the best barbecue sauce, because it's got that sweet element. It's just got a tang that would, I thought it would mix really good with the cream cheese. So we did that. We rolled it. And you put heat it. in there too. We put heat in there. We, we Yeah, that's right. We put some cayenne pepper in there for some kick. That's right. Love the heat. The heat yep. and the sweet, baby. Yep. And then we, we rolled it up and trussed it, as you can see. And I went ahead and hit it with that uh, that secret rub that I, I actually gave you. So the secret, secret rub that's no longer a secret. It's not but... a secret anymore. But <laughs> this thing's just uh, scream and eat me right now. So I think it's going to be... Pretty good. Now this one is completely yeah. on the other end of the rainbow. Yeah. You want to grab the bottle so that they yeah. can see what you're using? Yeah, absolutely. So I love this stuff. I'm not getting paid or anything to endorse this, but we love uh, Hardcore Carnivore Black by Jess Pryles. It's such a good product. What I love about it is obviously you can see the color and it just complements uh, beef so well. And it by the time this is done, it's going to have an epic bark. Oh my god! So gosh. it's going to be nice and barked barked up and then yeah. when you cut into it we're going to have that medium rare tenderness so it's going to be good and so all the, she uses is you know just some salt garlic a little bit of sugar black pepper chili powder and onion so I so mean, you're telling me now what temperature are we cooking it to so we're gonna we're gonna smoke this bad boy but we're going to uh, we're talking about this kind of on the show yeah, while we're exactly. while we're getting our, our mouths are watering yes. right now guys yeah we're gonna smoke it at 225 but uh, we're only gonna get it up internal temp to about 115 or 120 and we're going to finish it off with a solid sear on each side awesome it's be good okay all right let's do that um so i guess our next step is just go outside and take a look at the grill let's do it all right okay guys so we're looking at the z grill smoker this is their one of their latest models i believe it was a 700 uh 7000 series 7002 i think God, they have so many models you got to check out their website Okay, so go ahead and tell me what you see. Yeah, first thing I notice is this is aesthetically pleasing. When I look at the grill, I, I like the design. It's really sleek. Uh, looks really cool. I like that you got the tabletop over here. Uh, the first thing that really stood out to me right off the get-go was that there's two uh, internal probes. 
or temperature for your temperature so i'm guessing that there's connectivity to this so yeah if i have more than one piece of meat going uh i can have both of these in and monitor uh each one so right right from the get-go i love that uh you can cook multiple things uh, i love the window for the, the pellets it holds the whole bag yeah, so that, that's probably a 20 pound hopper. Yeah. That's, that's great. Um, I love that. Now, come back, you know, if you can probably take a peek over here. Hold on a minute. If you take a peek behind there, they have a little a little latch door. Yeah. I'll film that in a second. But yeah. they have a little latch door. That dumps your pellets. Yeah, and that's convenient because sometimes if you're cooking mm -hmm. pork, and yeah. you're you're, uh, you're using like let's just say applewood, and you want to hit some beef, you might want some mesquite. So that's a really right, good right. Idea. So you can change your pellets. Yep. That's uh, number one for me. If somebody is if somebody's designing a smoker, this door right here that dumps your pellets, that little door opens. All the pellets come out. You just put a bucket underneath and just pour them out. Yep, super cool. Okay, so now, um, so. Uh, how long you been smoking meat? So I started, I actually started cooking on a grill when I was about 22 years old. Uh, learned a lot from my failures. That was the point whenever I thought I was cooking something really well. Right. And um, everybody said it was great. But as you get better, you realize that it tasted like a bonfire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, it was good. When I really started getting serious, I bought myself an offset smoker. Uh, that was around, honestly, it's only been about seven, maybe seven years. And just had fun doing it. So um, would you uh, ever do you, your offset smoker? I get that. Would you ever get one like this, or do you already have one now like this so that smokes like this with the I pellets? I do. I do have a pellet smoker, uh -huh. uh, and I'm fairly new to the pellet smoking. But I mean, the meat comes out phenomenal. So, so if I blessed you with this model, oh man, yeah. Would you take it? I would take it in a heartbeat. It's man. yours. Oh, man. After we're awesome. done filming, it's all yours. Oh, look at you, man. And Thank you get you. to make Z Grill meat <laughs> amazing all day oh, long. Oh, hey, Jack, I appreciate that. No problem, man. I appreciate you coming on the show and doing this. Yeah, man. So I really cool. do. Check uh, check out, once again, Smoking Saints on Instagram. Uh, you will not be disappointed. You've done a great job. You've, I'm sure you've come a long way in a short yeah, period of time. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jack. Thanks for Appreciate everything. It. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we're going to fire this up. Okay, guys, we've hit temp. The smoke looks beautiful, nice and clear. We're ready to load it up. So Reggie's going to help me here, and look at that. That's, With, that's uh, great. Look at the, how much room we have on this yeah, grill. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. Funny. Yeah. It's getting close. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. Then yeah, here's his so masterpieces. I love the top of the hopper so that, oh man, it's gorgeous. Oh yeah, look at there's plenty of room for it. Oh, this is great. We'll get a, we should get a shot of this too. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. We're testing out the probes that are plugged into the control unit. Oh, they have little, they have little holes. So the wire goes through the hole over there and then he's placing it in the tri-tip because the tri-tip will probably cook faster because it's not as thick. So we'll take that off. We'll, we'll, we'll poke them too to make sure. But he just wants to do a, a probe on it and we'll give it a certain amount of time. So this one's probe two. Okay. That'll make sense. Probe two, probe one. Yeah. Then, like thing one, thing two. Yeah. See how he's feeding it through that hole? That's where the yeah. probes go. Okay, guys, what has it been, an hour? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I'll follow you. These are these tri-tips are done. That's, That's exactly what you want to come over here so you can set it on that. Like right at 130, 129, so whenever we let this rest a little bit, you know, we're going to tan them and just let them kind of rest. So oh, you're going to wrap them together? That's fine. I thought yeah. you'd want to wrap them separately, but it's, that's why I brought ripped Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, so let's do gonna that. So we're going to go ahead and wrap them separate. All right. Look at him manhandling his meat. Really Don't. Nice. Good thing the comments are turned off, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look at So we're going to wrap it. So we took them off about five degrees early, right? Yeah. Okay. Guys, remember when you wrap, you could expect at least five to ten degrees for the new for the next one. That's they smell nice. good? Yeah, they smell great. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I don't think the other one. Now we're going to probe the other ones. Let's see what yeah. the well. Go ahead and 
see what they're at. So I think these are gonna have, these are really thick cuts of meat. Right. So we can go in we're about 111 here, 110. Okay, so we wanna probe those then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, these are gonna have a little bit more time. Cool. So we're probing each one. We had them in the tri-tips. We're now probing the sirloin tip. And then we're gonna put the temperature up to 250, which is a normal smoking temp also. Yeah. 25, 250, doesn't matter. We're good. We'll see you in a bit. We're letting the tri-tips rest right now. So everything's good. It is in. so tender, guys. It's yeah. wiggly. I mean, that's top notch. Are we both in the shot? I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Yep, we are. I can see me now. Okay, look at that. It's going to be good. Sorry, didn't mean to play with my meat on the camera. <laughs> but anyway, are we ready? We're ready. Let's go for right, it. Not toast. Cheers. There we go. Oh, man. Mmm. <laughs> that's good. It's so good. That's top notch. Mmm. You can see that bark, mm. but it's still tender enough. All right, Jack. All right, so I want I want you. Well, go ahead. Pick one with good seasoning on it. Oh, I like this one right here. Okay, and I like that one right there. Yep. So here we go. Mmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're both good. Mmm. I can't even talk. I was my mouth is juicy. That's top notch. Um, I love it. Look how beautifully that's beautiful. Yeah, it's good. All right. So the tri tips were home run. Yeah, they were top notch. Okay, this is great. So we've got sirloin tips coming up next. Hang on, and those are almost done, but they're not yet. All right. So we're gonna go wipe our mouths, and we'll be right back. Round number two, you ready for this? Oh yeah. This yeah. is my favorite right here. This has garlic and cream cheese. Oh, look at the juice. Can, yeah. can you get that on camera? Yep, let me uh, pour it all over there. There you go. Oh my God, it's juicing all over. Good thing we got trays. Yeah. <laughs> We're good? We're good, Jack. Okay. Go ahead and grab you a piece, whatever piece you want. If you could get that one, I almost ready. No, go ahead. You, no, 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 you do it. Go I'll, ahead. Go ahead. Do whatever you want to. I'm just gonna take one of the smaller pieces. Yeah, go ahead, me too. All right. Oh my God, it's juice. You gotta get that juice in there. Oh my God. All right, here we go. One, two, three, cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. I'm just gonna slice it. Yeah, go ahead on. So here. let's go ahead and see where. Yeah, the, I just wanna take pictures. The grain is here. So we're just gonna come straight across. Make sure I get that in for you. Oh, that's gonna be good. So nice, dark, colorful. But then the inside, you can see that slice, boom. Look at that. It's gorgeous. That's gonna be delicious. Good job, Jack. Oh man. There's juice feeling all over this country. Oh man, that's so cool looking. I'm gonna dip mine, I'm gonna run it across the board and get all this juice that's all over this cutting board. Oh man, it's, drip it's dripping. Cheers. Yep. What I really like is whenever you get that bark, you get that bark on your tongue. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Very good. Good job. While he's taking pictures and we're just enjoying this meat, I want to tell you that I love you guys. The Z Grill off the charts. We had such a good time. Uh, take care. Grab yourself a smoker. And I'll talk to you in the next episode. Bye-bye.